Oh yeah, what's up guys? This is Curtis Pike. My friends call me Big C. Back in action today, I want to show you how to directionally light a shot. You'll see here in this picture of this gorgeous boxer, we've got the light source basically on the left side, and the left is very, very bright, and the right side is dark. Let's compare it to the original shot here. The original shot is just straight on, and everything is well lit. In the top shot here, after I've made some changes, the light source, as you can clearly see, is on the left side here, and it's coming down, and the left side of the puppers is all bright and nice looking, and the right side is a little darker. So I'm going to show you how to do that in a few seconds. All right, I'm going to delete this top layer, and we're going to start from scratch. First step, as you can see here, let's get an image and load it in like I have here. I've got this good looking puppy dog. That is step one. Step two, you want to drag and drop this image and you want to put it on top of that plus sign there at the bottom right, as you can see here. That makes a duplicate. You can also do Command if you're on a Mac, or Control if you're on a PC, plus the J key, and that makes a duplicate copy. The next step to keep rolling is you need to make this into a smart object because we're going to apply filters. Now, to make this into a smart object, you'll see here I've got my little mouse head finger pointy. I've got it all the way over to the right side here, and I'm going to right-click on it. When I do that, you're going to see as I scroll down, convert to smart object. You'll know it's a smart object because you'll see the little uh, <laughs> icon in the bottom right here. Also keep in mind that if you try and click over top um, of, the, of the lettering or the image, you may not be able to get the smart object option. So just click over here, convert to smart object. All right, next step, you want to go to filter. At the top here, you'll see filter. When you drop it down, there's a whole bunch of them, but the one we are looking for is actually under render. I would have expected a lighting thing, but it's actually not there. You want to go to render, and then over on render, drag it over, and click on lighting effects. This is going to make a mess of things when it first launches, and you see what happens. Oh no, no it will not. Uh, this is actually the way I want it. Now here, I've already done the work on this, but let me show you what you can do here. Like if you were to get, when you start it off, you'll have a few options. You can move, this here so you can scale the width you can increase decrease the size of the hotspot I'll just reduce that size depending on the kind of look that you're going for it can take a few seconds so this is a, a very very <laughs> dark shot but if I want to increase that up as you can see here I'm building up the light source and maybe something like what do you think something like that looks good I'm gonna zoom in a little bit and you can also make adjustments to the scale length here. So if I want to be a bit narrower, not a problem. If I want this to go out a little bit more, and again, guys, this is totally up to you. You're the person that's deciding how much light and what source you want. So I'm going to go with something like this so that we've got a light source here coming in from the top left and leaving the bottom right side of the image a little darker. Also, you can change the color of the light. Now, I've got it set to bright white, but that's because it's a daytime shot, let's say, and it's nice and early in the morning. But you can also go ahead and change the color. So if you want this to be a yellow tinge, like maybe it's a little bit of an afternoon color, hey, that's a bit much. But let's say you want the yellowish tinge. This is for that golden hour type look, something like that. You can totally do that. Boom. Now we've got a golden light applied to it. Let's go with this just to show you. The options also keep in mind guys that you want to make sure that you're on spot instead of the point in the infinite you want to make sure you're on spot and again adjust these adjust these points as you see fit i'm going to hit okay and let's see what we got we'll do one final comparison so we've got a puppy dog beautiful boxer at golden hour let's say we've added in some yellow light from the top left and here's the original shot and here is the new shot. Again, a little bit too dark, so I would add some more light in on the bottom right here. But that's the technique, guys. Thank you for watching. A ton more stuff coming up. Stay tuned.